when the Western Cape secedes and the DA becomes the official government of an independent free Cape, uh, what sort of policies would you like uh, to impose uh, uh, as, as the national government of the independent Western Cape? Ah, Roman, you are, you're, you're a clever one, you. Uh, firstly, the Western Cape won't be succeeding, succeeding anytime soon. Uh, I don't, here we go, let's get everyone really angry. I don't support uh, the idea of a, of a, a, a separate Western Cape, an independent oh, Western Cape. No, I'm man. sorry, I don't. I'll convince you. I have fought, uh, I'm 42 years old in a month's time, two months' time, and most of that time has been fought fighting for the whole of South Africa. If I wanted to live in a separate country, I would be one of uh, our friends going to New Zealand or Australia. I want to to stay here, and uh, I want to see all of South Africa succeeding. I've got friends up in Gauteng. Friends all over the place. I don't want to live in a different country. I don't think we need to live in a different country. I think what we need to do is we need to get our act together as the DA. Um, we need to get our message clear so that you know exactly what we stand for. And I think I need to convince enough of you and your uh, your followers to to give us um, that hand up that we need to to take over government and and to really get the ball changed and get the ball rolling. And then you won't need a separate Western Cape.